Howdy partners. Today we are on week four of our Wild West Faith Series. Today's Bible story is about when we face something that seems so impossible for us, not all is lost because we serve a God who can do the impossible. Before we check out our Bible video, we need to check in with Billy Bob and see what adventure he's on. Hey, Billy Bob! Did you enjoy that new town? Billy Bob, I'm so excited to see what God has in store for us today. This trail does look a little bit scary, so keep a lookout. You never know what you'll come across. I hear that too, Billy Bob. Where, where's it coming from? Billy Bob, uh, in there, are you sure? Well, yeah, I think so too. You need to go check it out. Someone could need help. Oh no, Billy Bob, someone's stuck? You need to get them out. Uh, I see you're trying, Billy Bob, but you know, on your own strength, it may seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. You just need to ask him for help. All right, Billy Bob, you can do this. Just trust God and he'll help you. Yes, Billy Bob. With God's strength, nothing is impossible. Do you feel strong now, Billy Bob? With God, we can do anything. I'm so glad you were able to help her out of the pit. Okay, Billy Bob, let's keep going to see what God has in store for us next. As the Israelites fought to take the land promised to them by God, the people who still lived there shook in fear, knowing they would soon be destroyed. One of the mighty cities in this new land was so afraid they tricked Israel into making a deal for peace. They would do anything to stay alive. It wasn't long before the king of Jerusalem heard about this tricky deal, and he wasn't happy. He wanted to destroy Gibeon and weaken Israel so he joined forces with four other kings and they gathered with all of their troops to attack Gibeon. When the Gibeonites found out about what the five Amorite kings were planning against them, they sent word to Joshua, do not leave your servants to fight alone. Come quickly and save us from the Amorite kings who have joined forces against us. Please help us. So Joshua marched up with his entire army, including all of his best fighting men. The Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid of them. I've already given them into your hands so that not one of them will be able to stand against you. After an all-night march from Gilgal, Joshua and his troops quickly caught up with the Amorite kings and surprised them in an attack. Just as God promised, he was with the Israelites. As their enemies ran for their lives, Israel chased them with weapons and God dropped huge hailstones on them. In fact, more of them died from hailstones than from the swords of the Israelites. Joshua and his men did not want to quit fighting until the Amorites were completely defeated, but they were running out of time. So Joshua went to the Lord before all of Israel and asked for a miracle. Please, he pleaded with the Lord, make the sun and the moon to stand still over Gibeon. And the Lord answered the prayer of Joshua. God caused the moon and the sun to stop moving. This was an amazing display of God's power over his creation. Surely, the Lord was with Joshua, and he fought for Israel. Hey, guys.
guys, welcome. It's time for worship. So wherever you're at, you're in your living room, your bedroom, your playroom, get up and let your parents hear it. Let's go. It's already recording. Let's check out our Bible video, Bible video, but before that, we need to check in on Billy Bob and see what adventure he's seen. Okay. Well, I am. What do you do? Scary, like a brave. Hey, that's it. You walk in, and then we're gonna go inside. You're gonna yeah. here and go. But I'm not, I'm not like that. Not yet. Show me the key right there. It's like to the side. And then you bring this side. Show me. So then I can't. Yeah, you can. I cannot. <laughs> Jesus. 
Do you want to do it again? Yeah.